Okay, in this video we are going to be talking about layers. Layers are a very integral part of working with Photoshop. They are sections of the image that can be manipulated independently. In a sense, they're stacked on each other. You can kind of think of them as having a transparent sheet that you lay over the top of another sheet, and then you can make changes onto that transparent sheet. So why would we do layers? Uh, the biggest thing is non-destructive editing. Non-destructive editing means that we can make changes to a picture without actually damaging the picture itself. If I lay a layer over this picture here, I can then add things or subtract things from that layer without actually doing anything to this original image. That makes it so that I can very easily get back and, uh, uh, to the original if I need to make some changes. It also allows me to go through and, and delete or adjust individual changes without having to start over. Because of that, it's a good rule of thumb to make a new layer for every single edit that you do, a new blank layer, and have a layer for each edit. That way you can go back to those edits, delete individual ones, hide individual ones, or make changes without losing all of the other edits that you've done in, ad in addition to that one. So over here <clears throat> in my panels, I have the layers panel. Let's talk first of all about making a new layer. You can see I have layer number one here, and that's the layer that has this image on it. So the first thing I want to do is make a new one. Down here in the bottom of the image panel, I have this little icon that looks kind of like a, a sticky note that's being bent up in the lower left corner. That is for creating a new layer. When I click on that, you'll see now I have layer two right here. Now, I can rename these layers, which makes it easier for me to identify what's what. I can just double click on where it says layer one there, and I can just call that original image. And then I could rename layer two with whatever change I was gonna make to it. Now, if I wanna delete a layer, let's say that I've done something on this layer that I don't want anymore. Let's actually do something so we can see that happen. I'm gonna to go to my brush tool, and I'm just going to make it nice and big pick a green color, and just come and scribble on that, okay? So if you look at my layers panel, the original image is in layer one, layer two has the scribble on it. You can see it over there in that little preview of the layer to the left. So I can delete this layer by just selecting it and coming down here and clicking that little trash can. I can also right click on the layer and I have the option to delete the layer right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna delete this layer it says, am I sure I want to do that? Yes. You see it gets rid of my scribble and my picture is still completely intact. Now I'm going to undo that delete so I have that layer back again to look at another thing that I can do rather than deleting a layer. And that is hiding a layer. If there's any chance that in the future I might want this edit back, it's going to be better for me to hide the layer than to delete it. That way I can get it back with just a single click. Uh, rather than having to redo it if I later on decide that it was something I wanted. To hide a layer, all I need to do is click this little eyeball that's to the left of the layer icon. So if I click on that eyeball there, you see it's hidden this layer. The layer still is there. It's still a part of my document. I can show it again anytime that I want, but it's not actually affecting my, my artwork at this time. If I come back and click on that little box again, it puts the eye back, and I'm back to the, to the layer itself. Now let's talk about some of the things that I can do to a layer, some of the controls that I have here. One thing I can do is what's called a layer mask, and we're gonna be using layer masks uh, quite frequently as we move forward, especially in the next video, which is gonna be specifically on working on masks. So let's just say that rather than have this layer two have that little uh, squiggle on it, I'm gonna actually fill layer two using my paint tool paint bucket tool and I'm just gonna fill it with that green right I've got this stroke here let's get rid of all of it now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna hide that I'm gonna go back to my original image and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a selection so just for for simplicity's sake let's go ahead and just use the lasso tool and we'll just go around the gang here like so. So I've got this selection and you can see it there in my layer two. 
And what I'm going to do is I am going to make a mask of this selection. I've got a button down here at the bottom of the layers that looks like a, a rectangle with a, a circle in the middle of it. That's to add a layer mask. Now when I click on that, you'll see that it added a layer mask that's basically showing everything that I had outside of that selection and hiding everything that is inside. What it's doing is it's actually, it's actually the part that I had selected was the part that is still unmasked of this layer. So it's showing that green. And then the part that's masked is around it, which would be the picture. So I actually want that inverted. We talked about inverting a selection last time. So I'm going to go ahead and go select and inverse. And now what I've got is I have a mask around this outside area and no mask in the middle there. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that layer mask and you see that I end up with something like this. So we're